Well, good evening. Welcome to Tool Time with Tara. I am Tara and I hope we've got some scrappy friends jumping on here in a second. Tonight, um, on Tool Time, I am featuring the new Sort and Stash binder. And, um, but before I do that, I wanted to show you, um, the August cards for the card class. They are all, um, fruit, punny, punny fruit cards, um, featuring some of, uh, Creative Memories punches and, um, some fun papers, some Creative Memories cardstock. And this month, everybody is going to get a bottle of hibiscus stickles. And I use that on all of the cards. So instead of jewels, we are going to use stickles. And so rather than me figure out how to send you some, you will have a whole bottle that you can enjoy um, in your card making going forward. So that is August uh, 31st, Tuesday, August 31st, last Tuesday of the month. Hello, everybody. Um, so if you haven't signed up yet, you're going to want to sign up for this fun, punny fruit card class. And um, so you don't miss out and you'll get a free bottle of stickles. So do that by um, August 25th so that I can mail those out to you if they need to get mailed. Um, <clears throat> and tonight I see some of you are already jumping on and sharing. I appreciate that. And you'll want to do that because somebody is going to win their choice of one of the new Sort and Stash um, uh, pages pocket pages and I'll explain as soon as we get started so if you haven't um, already go ahead and share this live it's hard to believe it's already Tuesday August 10th um, next week I've got project recipe the week after that is a techie Tuesday and we are going to be doing um, custom custom spines three different ways so I've done it before where I showed you how to you can do it on the creative memories website um, but some of you have so many spines to do um, you've asked me for alternative ways so I'm going to show two other ways that you can personalize your own spines all right and but tonight we're talking about the sword and stash now this binder to be fair I can't really remember if it came out in December or January, but I do know that by my retreat in February this year, it was completely sold out off the website. So I really didn't, um, you know, push it or show it because it was gone. And we've been, t we were, you know, I've been waiting, waiting, waiting. So it finally came back, um, back in stock and, um, they were already labeled hot they're already selling out. So I ordered several on advance. So they're coming. So if you see this tonight and you say, yes, I most definitely need to have this. Um, you can order it from my website, um, order from your, um, from creative memories. Um, or you can pick it up from me. I do have a limited number coming. All right. So let's jump into it. Let's talk about just the outside some of you have been around cm a long time long enough to remember when we had the zipper sticker binder and i can tell you i've seen that some of you have it so full you still use it but you can't even zip that baby closed actually some of you have the oldest version which just had velcro around the side it didn't even it didn't even zipper so raise your hand if you've got the little velcro thingy that went across and I mean that's like over over 20 20 years so 
this version has a handle it does have a full zipper all the way around which is great um, to close in all of the little pieces <laughs> I know right if it's not official it should be um, it was funny it's color street but it's actually pedicure I don't know if that's because it was only um, about but anyway it's a beautiful color thank you for noticing um, so let's see what's on the inside now when you first get the binder it's gonna come with three sleeves inside it's gonna come with a full 12 by 12 sleeve which you see here it's going to come with um, a sleeve that's broken into four so there are four four by four by five I'm sorry four five by five by five by five so five and a half by five and a half and there are four of them and then one with two and a half inch strips so I'm going to take you through each one at a time now when they came back with them all they released they have a new one that's 12 by 6 which is great because that is the perfect size for the sticker strips so unfortunately mine are on the way the ones that I said they ordered as soon as they came out <clears throat> so I don't have that one to show you tonight but I do have some on the way so one of my favorite things to do with the full 12 by 12 is to use it for your recipe templates so those of you that are a fan of the recipe templates, not sure how you have this stored right now, but the Sort and Stash binder is a great way to do that. What's really nice is that you can keep the cover, you know, the, the, the packaging insert that comes with it because it comes with some great ideas. And then you can put the template on the other side and it really shows up on this, um, this brown, brownish, uh, color here uh, so you can see the full full set of the design now if I, I you could very easily end up if you're a collector of these with a full binder just of these um, if you wanted to go to a front and back you could definitely I wanted to show the difference let me just show you another feature right that you can rearrange things take things in and out this one, I went ahead and packaged them together the way they come. So they, and it's, the pocket is plenty big enough to do that. I wanted to show you so that I've got really four layers, two on this side and two on the other. So if you wanted to package it like that, you, you could. I've got it going into the second package. I'm sure I'm showing this so lovely. Um, so again, you could just do it the way it's packaged. Um, and then just tuck, tuck the template in, in, in between. Now what I like about doing it this way is if you're a fan of the power layout and you're going to be using this for a specific page, I love that you could just like take it out of the binder and put it Put it with whatever paper and pictures um, that you're going to to use and then you could file it back it where it goes so instead of having this template just kind of floating around in your bag you could um, you could uh, store it together now you could do the same thing you could put both of these in or you could just take the the front cover in the back and, and toss it in to your bag or just leave it and make put a little post-it note um, for which which thing you're going to use now um, I took the rest of mine out of here I wanted to show two different ways to show the rest to show the recipe templates because I love using the binder for that but another thing that you can use this binder for is for your pages that you do ahead of time that you don't have pictures for and if it's a recipe template or if it's a sketch, you can go ahead and include that right behind it. So this is one of the newer ones because Sparks of Magic is brand new this month for collections. But of course, I never do um, the recipe templates for 
with what's pictured on the sheet. So this is uh, just uh, different papers that I had and I put together. Now I don't have the pictures for this yet. So this sort and stash binder is a great place to store those types of pages so they don't um, get damaged while you're waiting to use them. Um, the other thing you can do with these big 12 by 12s is if you have a, a page layout, it's kind of like a way to power, power layout. So say I need, say I've got my pictures and I'm using, going to use, you know, these two sheets of paper and just, um, this random piece of card stock and I know that I'm going to use such and such recipe, uh, recipe template or project recipe. I can even throw my six to 10 pictures in here and slide them in. So you could have basically, instead of a, a power, instead of using the power layout box, which we have a tool specifically designed for power layout, but you could use the store and sash binder to do that as well and um, power layout a couple pages to bring to a crop just zip up your binder and then when you get there um, you've got your binder you could also if there's any other embellishments or anything you want to use you can you can slip that all in into the binder I just want to I my uh, camera isn't quite far enough away for me to do put this in while it's attached to my binder but so this then I've got embellishments in here cardstock paper a note to myself and then I can just clip it in here ready to go for the crop so that's another way to use it um the best the best thing about this tool is there's so many different ways to use it and like you could never be wrong, right? Like you can use it however it works for you. Um, you could use it to store your cards. Um, you could put all your birthday cards on one side. You could put thank you cards on another side. You could use it to store your dimensionals. I'm gonna go ahead and take these out of here. And now I can put my dimensionals right in in this pocket and then they I, I'll know exactly where they are um, like I said your embellishment packs will fit right inside you can take them out of their packaging you could leave them in your packaging however you want to do it the other thing that you can do with them is if you've got um, die cuts and stamps that you want to um, that you want to store together. Like I, I have, these are from the Stamps of Life. I've got die cuts and matching stamps. I can put those in. Now you can see how they overhang, but this is, would be where I think um, that the six by 12, where that runs the full length that I don't have tonight to show you, um, th that would be great. Yes, these are very durable. The plastic is very durable. Um, you can put, like I said, this is this is four four deep in here. Two sheets of cardstock, one in thick thick packaging cardstock, plus the templates themselves. In and out, um, very very durable, and um, and just endless endless uses like Trish says she uses one binder just for cards I can see and this is why they sold out so fast um, I believe because people could see oh I need one for the recipe templates or um, uh, one for my borders 
So this is, this is the uh, third type of insert and these are two and a half by 12. Now what I love about this, it's the little things, right? Um, a lot of border things, you're sliding from the top down or even from the side. And the problem with that is they get tangled into each other. What I love about this setup is it top loads. So things, you can almost like look through it without having to take everything out. You know what I'm saying? Like ones where you're you're in a whole pocket, you gotta pull everything out to see what you have. Um, this, because of the way it's, um, it's attached here on the side, um, there's, you, this pocket, it almost pulls away. And I mean, obviously things aren't gonna flop out at you, but you can kind of flip through what you have in here. So if you're a fan of the border punches or border maker cartridges, and you're someone that likes to add a retreat when you're not uh, feeling, you know, super creative, just punch, or is, maybe that's how you use up your leftover cardstock is if you've got scraps of cardstock, you just print it, uh, print it. You just punch out um, using your a border maker cartridge, then you can file them in here. You can file it by color. You can file it by border maker cartridge so that your, um, so that your borders are just ready to go. So I do, I do love the way this is set up. Um, I don't do a bunch of borders myself pre-made. Um, so I wouldn't necessarily be the person that needs a whole binder of this, but I've seen some of you punch all different colors with a, a border punch or all different colors with a border maker cartridge. So I could see where this would be super handy for you. And then again, the fact that it zips all up is, is brilliant because you're not gonna lose little pieces. Um, now for organizing paper, this is just kind of a, a bonus. Um, I think many of you know that I love our, they're called project, project folders. Now this is another tool. So, um, you could definitely put all your tiny little scraps in here if that's the way you want to organize it. Again, there's, there's just no wrong way. But for my paper, and especially scraps and full sheets, uh, these folders, which were popular in the past, and in old CM they were called Power Project folders, or no, Deco File folders. Now they're Power Project folders, I believe is the name of them. They're $20 for a four pack. So they're $5 each, but there's a huge pocket in the center that will fit 12 by 12. There is a pocket on top that is um, four by 12. There's two pockets on the front that will fit mats. And then on the back, there's the two long uh, six by twelves. Okay, so now this you can stick into another bag, and I have them in a bin, all the colors, and that's how I organize all my paper and paper scraps. So I don't intend to organize my paper and paper scraps in this binder. For me, I've got a stack of these floating around. So I can organize them, I can uh, do it by date, do it alphabetically, however, and now I have a safe place to put these. Cause I even have some pages like, um, well right, right here by, I've got pages from project recipes that I've done that have pictures attached, but aren't ready to go in an album yet because they were random pages that I did for uh, Facebook Live and I'm not that caught up y'all that was April's um, college graduation I can promise you my uh, family album is not to May 
2021. So I can store those types of things in, in here until they're ready to go into a book. So, um, but I love the idea of using this um, for page, page layouts. Um, it, whether or not you put your pictures in here, because that can get bulky, but if you stored your pictures or brought them in another container or in the folder, um, uh, in a folder for your photos, and then just left yourself a note with what your intent was, these are, I feel like, are going to be huge uh, time savers for some some of y'all. Uh, when you're packing to go to a retreat or packing uh, to go to a day crop where you can just um, get a couple packs of these um, inserts and plan out your pages that way with what you want to bring. Um, so... Let's talk price, because I haven't even told you what the price of all this is, and I know we've got some excited people. So these are $35 for the binder. They come with three um, inserts, a 12 by 12, um, the, a four pocket, a one pocket, a four pocket, and, um, well, these are four, this is four pocket too. But this is the two and a half by 12, and then the five and a half by five and a half. So one, two, and then the full sheet, three. And then you can get extra packs for $9.50. And um, extra, a five pack of the 12 by 12 is $9.50. So you can get a five pack, and I will be selling them. If we can keep them in inventory long enough, I will I will sell, sell them like, oh, if you just need one of these or two of those. Um, I will sell them that way at events, at retreats, and uh, at day crops, so that if you just need a couple. But for tonight, um, what I thought I would do was give away um, a free pack. So whoever wins can choose, do they want the 12 by 12? Do they want the, um, I don't know why it's so hard for me to say five, and a half by five and a half, but I'm just struggling with that. So five and a half by five and a half or two and a half by 12. And um, so if you haven't shared already, you'll want to do that. And I am going to see who our lucky winner is. As I step over to my computer here. I'm still here. I I'm going. Uh, this this problem will be remedied this month. That is my goal. Um, I think you can still hear me from the depths of my workshop. But uh, my goal is to be as fancy as my friends at Masterpiece, and switch over to Streamyard. Um, and then I won't have to um, I won't have to jump over to my computer at the end of a live show. So um, let's see who our winner is tonight. And I'm just going to bring it over to my area over here as you're enjoying. Your, um, the view of my wonderful binder here. Okay, and oh, Jacqueline Wilbanks, 
Congratulations, Jacqueline. Winner, winner. I will. Um, I feel like I have something else to send to you from a recent, a recent live. So congratulations, congratulations, I can't talk. And um, thank you all for sharing. If you can think of any other ideas or if you were, if you were one of the lucky ones to get one of these way back in January, um, let us know how your favorite way to use them is. Um, a quick reminder, once again, our August card class with the free hibiscus stickles this month. Um, these are the cards. They are fruit and punny, full of fruit, and they are fresh, fresh off the design table. Those will be shipping out in a couple weeks, so you have time. Also, the crop for gray and gold is live, so you can sign up for that. And um, it's a two-day event now, so it's just 12 to 6 on Friday. So you can get in, get warmed up, uh, buy some tickets, raffle tickets, get your spot all set up, do some cropping, and then, then you can come and spend the whole day scrapping on Saturday. Stickles is like glitter glue, Jen. And um, I am sending everyone a bottle this month um, just for fun. And... It, you'll be able to use it on all the cards. So it isn't a product that I sell. Um, it's not part of the Creative Memories product line, that's for sure. But um, it is super fun uh, for making cards. And that's all. So I hope you enjoyed Tool Time tonight. It was a fast one. More of a show and tell than a tool time with Tara, but I wanted to make sure that you all saw how cool this sort and stash binder was so that you could get it before it sells out again. Hopefully, Creative Memories ordered enough uh, to appease the masses. Thank you all for being on tonight, for joining me. I will be back next Tuesday for Project Recipe. You can go ahead and go over to my website. Um, memorymaniacs.com or energeticexpression.com or there's a link on the event on Facebook so that you can download the project recipe and be all ready to go next Tuesday night. So thank you all for watching and until I see you all again, you stay scrappy. Have a great night.